You've cared for me since day one and you were never afraid to let everyone know. I've known you for 10 years and I watched you grow and learn love and patience. I wish I could tell you that I'm gonna give you the world tomorrow. I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to make sure you feel loved, feel warm, and feel accepted for you having a lizard. Because <laughs> it's kind of weird. If I had to make a list of all your best qualities, we'd be here forever, but I'll narrow it down to how much you love me and my good and bad qualities. I can tell you is I will try my hardest to give you the world, to give you everything you've ever wanted and everything you ever will want. And I'll narrow it down to how much you make me laugh till my stomach hurts. I will not narrow down how much I love you and I will do everything in my power to give you a happy life with all the cattle you want and I promise to be faithful and patient with you while we both continue to grow up. I will do anything you ask within reason. And if it's not within reason, I'll figure out how a way I can make it within reason to an extent. Thanks. I promise to do my best to keep you safe, healthy, and happy. I promise to love and support you and whatever you do, I promise to stand by you as your wife, but I can't promise that I won't talk back to you when you talk back in your sleep. <laughs> you look beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't want to mess anything about no. anything. All right. <laughs> You are my human calculator <laughs> when I can't do the math in my head and my personal heater. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to be creative even when you think I'm weird. I'm so proud to have you as a husband and a life partner. I love you so much. I love you too. I love you more than anything I've ever loved in my life. You are my very, very, very best friend and I wouldn't want to do this like anybody else. And I promise you that. I love you to death. I love you too. By the glory of God, I pronounce you husband and wife, one. Give a big applause for Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Wade Arnold. You may kiss the bride. My mom had high moral standards here now. But my mom also appreciated people who were real, who weren't fake, who were themselves no matter what their flaws were. And I'm gonna tell you what, I think my mom would have really loved Wade. Since I looked into your eyes and saw starlight, bold, bright colors. I'm so extremely blessed to have you guys in my life. I couldn't be more thankful for you. And Wade, I'm so proud of you and beyond blessed. You have such an amazing woman to love you. I would choose you. Now she's getting married to her absolute best friend, and I love the way that they love each other, and I'm so happy for y'all, and I wish all the best for you like as Mr. and Mrs. Arnold. I know he'll take care of you because he takes care of everybody in his life. Anybody that knows Wade knows that once you're part of his friend group, family, whatever it may be, he'll take care of you. Anything you need, anything Wade has, he'll give you the shirt right off his back. Wade is a great guy, and I know he'll make a great husband. Shelby, you know we love you dearly. 
If you can put up with that guy, you can put up with any of us, for sure. <laughs> no, not really, for sure. We're so happy to have you as part of our family. As a father, as a father-in-law, I couldn't be any more happy than to have Shelby and Wade as my son and daughter-in-law, and congratulations to y'all. Yeah.